Hey there, it's Dr. Dave here again with another OS tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to look at user interaction. So this allows us to get information from the user and then use it in our program in some way. So in this one I'm going to look at getting a string information representing the name of the user and the age of the user, so a string and a number. I also look at uh, using variables and using functions. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a create a new variable and I'm going to use this to store the user's name and that's the type of that will be a string so I click on the other down here and select string click on OK and I'm going to go over to our object Bob click on the methods and I'm just going to get Bob to say a few things here I've already created some of this stuff already so uh, let's see, so we'll just put so just get Bob to say a quick greeting and then ask the user for the name. What is your name? Question mark. And what we're going to do then, we'll drag the my name variable here, set it to a default string to begin with but we're going to then ask the user to enter the name and store it in this variable. So to do that we need to click on the world object and then we go over to the functions and this the world object provides us with a number of general utility functions. One of those is this function down here, ask the user for a string. So we drag this over into here and this function takes a string and we'll just say enter your name. So that will then prompt the user and provide them with a a prompt box to enter their string. So let's quickly play that, see what that does. So notice uh, Bob says a couple of things and then in this prompt box we enter the name. And that's about all it does right now. But now what we're going to do is use that information so we're going to get Bob to say, nice to meet you, Fred. So again, we go back to over to our functions. Uh, so we'll put nice to meet you, put a space. Now, because obviously not everybody's going to be called Fred, we need to combine this string here with the variable. So to do that, again, we need to go back to our world and the functions there. And we need to use this function here that allows us to join two strings together. So we'll drag that over to there. The first part of the string, or the A, will be the thing that we put in. The second part, we will go down to here and place the my name variable, or the value of the my name variable. So again, if we play that, and enter Fred as a name, we see that we got the string, nice to meet you, Fred, coming up there. Okay, so that's real good so far. So what I want to do now is then get Bob to ask, ask the user for their age. So a similar sort of process. First thing I need to go in and create a new variable. And this time it's going to be a number. And we'll call it my age. Drag this... Oh, actually, before we do that, we need to ask the user. So get Bob to say, what is your age? How old are you? And then we'll go back over to the world, drag the my age down here, set it to a default value of 1. And this time we're going to use this function, ask the user for a number. Drag that across to there, and we'll just put enter your age. That's all good for now. And then finally what we want to do is we want to get uh, Bob to print, say something in response to that. So back over to Bob, over to the functions, and we'll say, well, I wish I was only, and again we'll leave a space for the age, click on OK, and we need to go back up to the world. And again, we need to join 
this with the age the age but we notice here we don't we can't join it directly so we'll just put in a default string for now what we need to do this is because this is a number we need to convert it firstly to a string before we can join it to this other part of the string so to do that we use this particular function and we can then plug in my age so let's see what that does put in Fred now put in 23 and we notice one slight problem there flash that fairly quickly but rather than just having 23 it entered 23.0 so the last thing we need to do is go down to the functions down here int as as a string so this will actually then convert it just to the integer part so it will show up as just being 23 rather than 23.0 so let me just quickly change the duration here to let's say four seconds so we've got plenty of time to see it let's play that Fred into the age of 23 and you can see wow I wish I was only 23 excellent all done so hopefully that's proved useful and I'll catch you for the next tutorial